you can go through the DevOps resumes, uh, how does it look like, and what are the things, roles and responsibilities you can include in your uh, uh, project. Yeah, interview questions also I'll send you. I have a document of interview questions. A PDF is there on all the topics, almost all, uh, Jenkins, Ansible, and all that stuff. We have questions, chef puppet questions I'll, I'll send across. So this resume is, they, they are basically the US resumes. So it will have a lot of uh, skill sets and all. So many things will be there. So maybe you can take out the things which are not required and uh, keep it whichever you're comfortable, right? So, so something like if, if, the, if they ask questions like, uh, what are the configuration management tools you have used? Right? So you can specify, we did a kind of uh, evaluation between Ansible, Chef, and Puppet and found out that uh, this is suitable for our project, then we used it. So it's like when you go for interview, you have to talk in terms of your project, what you did in your project, what automation you did, how did you achieve end-to-end -end automation, how did you achieve continuous integration, how did you define the best practices in DevOps. So all those things you need to talk when you go for interview. So, uh, I mean, it's, it's like you can tell uh, in one project I used Ansible, in the previous project we used Chef, that way we can tell. So they'll basically ask to justify why Chef is better, why Ansible is better, why Puppet is better, right? So something like Puppet has a lot of requirements, a lot of modules. Some 8,000 modules are there in Puppet post site. So if we want uh, a complex requirement, there might be possibility like it will be available in Puppet. Or we are using for cloud. So Ansible is the easiest one. Just install and SSH will be used internally. So configuration is really easy, right? So that way you, you need to tell right so or you can tell like uh, we are uh, we checked all three tools we installed them internally and we found out that uh, uh, ansible installation is easier and we can write the playbooks using yaml so we went for ansible right and if you go for continuous integration so obviously uh, most of the people use jenkins or there is something called bamboo as well so you can tell like we started using Jenkins to set up continuous integration. So every check-in made by the developer, Jenkins will automatically pull and create a build. And that will again call Maven to create the build and we use it uh, Nexus to store the artifacts. And from there, we use Ansible to deploy to the test nodes. Right? That way you can explain. Right. So now... Yeah, uh, sorry. Yeah, we, we, I mean, that is... Uh, yeah, we can talk about Ansible, Chef, and Puppet. Uh, but we haven't worked on any of the projects, like the, the actual real-time project. So if they're going to ask uh, what other project you did, what you exactly you have done, that what we, we we lack. Of course, we don't have a, I don't have any experience in the DevOps real-time projects. See, it's like so, this. So to, to get that exposure, what you need to tell is, explain your current project, whatever you're doing, if you're already working. When yeah. you are explaining your own project, you tell like how can DevOps be implemented in your organization to automate, right? So just think about that and prepare that way. Instead of giving a new project, every project will have DevOps. Your current project will also have DevOps. Just check if any uh, process is followed in your organization to automate. Or is okay. there any DevOps team already available? If it is available, you can just go to them and see what are they doing, how they are doing, what are the things they are using. Or if it is not available also, you can tell like we implemented DevOps in our own project. We did end-to-end -end automation. We use a Jenkins. We use a, these tools to have, uh, without manual intervention, we are able to deploy. And when you say deploy, don't tell like we are deploying it to production, but say like we are deploying it to a testing environment. And if, we are, if the, everything is successful, then we have another job to move it to, move that uh, packages to production. Okay, okay. One more thing I asked you about the AWS uh, certification. I know I asked if you have, if you know, or any, Yeah, I any... have that in the document as well. So basically, uh, Go for certification for the AWS. Associate, okay. AWS Associate, uh, uh, I think, wait, a CISOF certificate, Associate certificate. Yes, yeah, CISOF. So AWS DevOps certificate certification is also there. 
but this is open for five, some time only. And these certifications are valid only for two years. So after two years, again, you have to review. Okay. Can you need to write? Is there dumps available? We can use those dumps to go and go for go for the exam. Yeah, yeah, we can go for dumps. Dumps, I think dumps are available. I don't have dumps, but let me check if I have. Uh, th these are the certifications uh, which are available. Yeah, available in the market, they ask for certification yeah. also. And is there any simple certification for DevOps also? Any? Uh, DevOps, uh, it's like we have uh, certification for Jenkins, we have certification for Chef, we have certification for Puppet. Direct DevOps certification we don't have. But AWS DevOps we have, so this has uh, uh, some tools, and that uh, that we need to, uh, you know, certify. In the sense, we need to go through uh, those tools before giving this exam. Okay. Associate Solutions Architect, Developer Associate, SysOps Associate. Professional level, solutions architect professional, DevOps professional. Special certifications, we have big data certification and network certification. So these, this is the basic level. This you can easily clear. Solutions architect associate. So this is like the basic services like EC2, IAM, S3, EPC. These questions will be there. Uh, solutions architect associate. Yeah, but like, what are the like common, like what are the like uh, where we get a document to 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 prepare for the exam, or just go uh, online and just Google it. Yeah. Online uh, AWS documentation is available. Uh, okay. AWS videos are also available in uh, Amazon. Or you can also go through. There is uh, there is a guy called uh, Ran. He has actually implemented almost all the AWS implementation throughout the user uh, US. Okay. So his videos are very much popular. So there is a site called Udemy. So he has uh, uh, given, uh, I mean, he has provided all his videos on this thing, Udemy. We can buy an account and uh, go for the certification. So okay. I mean, th th there will not be anything uh, in depth. It's very basic things. So mostly whatever we have discussed uh, will be there in that. But that will be sufficient for the exam uh, associate level this thing for uh, solution. Okay. But okay. solution professionally a little bit in depth the certification professional level or if you want to go for either sysops or devops is also good so to start with solution architect associate then solution architect professional then devops these three certifications we go for devops or sysops yeah you mentioned there might be a dumps available online do you know where which site might have dumps for aws uh, I don't know, but uh, I'll search if I find it. I'll send it. Okay. 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 And uh, yeah, so now it's it's uh, it has become like uh, uh, there is no separate DevOps. It's all about uh, cloud ops, right? So DevOps is equal to cloud plus operations because most of the companies are migrating from uh, the on-premise to cloud. So so, the, the, so it's like cloud and uh, DevOps tools have become, uh, you know, hard skill set. Okay. So coming to the interview preparation, these are the things which we need to prepare. And uh, so one tool for each uh, area is fine. Something like for configuration management, you can tell I'm comfortable with this tool. At least we should have idea about how to write the playbooks, how to download the playbooks, how to modify that kind of stuff. Either Jenkins or Bamboo, or Git, GitHub, or Stash, or Bitbucket. These are the similar tools, just for storing the code, code repository, right? And then uh, what else we have? Build tools, we can tell either Ant or Maven. Maven is the preferred one, right? And then uh, what else we have? Artifact tool, storing the uh, artifacts, either Nexus or Artifactory. So Nexus is fine, right? And then again, continuous deployment for CD, we can use either uh, Ansible or Chef or Puppet for deploying it to 
the test loads, right? So, uh, how do you follow process? That is also an important question. What is agile? These kind of questions you may expect in interview. Uh, we use Jira tool, right? So, Jira tool is a kind of ticketing tool. We open the so just to track the status of who is working on what, what is the status of the ticket, and all we use Jira. So it's simple, just to create a ticket and ass assign it to yourself, or uh, there will be multiple people working on it. So there will be a scrum master in the agile, right? So he will create the tickets and assign it to different people, and people start working on it, right? Or uh, there is something called confluence tool also. This is for the documentation. Just we maintain the documentation inside this tool, confluence tool. This is a link. Web URL is, is provided. Is Jira is also open source? No. Uh, Jira is. I think no. Jira, okay. Yeah, these all are Atlassian products, but I think we need to buy. Uh, okay. So Jira is just remedy, right? Remedy ticketing tool, right? Yeah, it's just a ticketing tool. It's like just to track the status who is working on what. Uh, okay. So, so we yeah. just get the status. We have something called dashboard so that all the team members names and who is working on what will be displayed on the jira tool okay like remedy or service now right uh, just a minute Looks like this. Whatever my network is not working. Some problem with the network, but I would have shown it's it's a very simple tool. Uh, just uh, we open the issues. There is something called issue story. So this is like uh, for any new story. So for example, implement Jenkins uh, in uh, CI environment. Let us say. So this is a ticket, right? So let us say this takes some 24 hours. So that we specify in the tool. Right, and who is the owner, right, and who created it. And there will be some section called comment. So we work on it every day and we give a comment, right. So today uh, we installed Jenkins from scratch, right, and then we configured the slaves, right, and then so something like we can give the status every day. So once we configured the slaves, what do we do? We created the jobs, we created multi branch pipeline job, which will basically detect the changes made by the developers and we added the repositories right so repositories in repository is something like a github repository we added to multi-branch pipeline and if someone adds the code to multi-branch pipeline jenkins will pull it and it will create a job right so this way we give some updates every day is there any blocking issue we are not able to add something because of some permission issue so that way we can specify in jira jira is something like a Ticketing. Okay, it's, okay, it's just simple ticketing tool to to have updates yeah. and everybody see who's working, yeah. what is the status, right? And there will be something like date it is created, when it date of completion, estimation, uh, yeah. when are we supposed to complete this, and something like this will be there. Santosh, can you can you give us like a brief uh, uh, a total process flow how it is working, how DevOps is implemented or working in your environment practically? So we have understanding like how actually we have understanding about just one of the DevOps environment and like somebody is yeah, working in. I was I was trying to do that, but I'm not, somehow not able to I connect. Think it might be because of the go to meeting. It won't let you the VPN probably. I think so. Uh, no, 
because the go to meeting is probably what let you to do the vpn looks like to me i don't know maybe not because uh, when the vpn detect if something is like uh, you have a go to meeting live it more won't maybe uh, let me try once again So this is the dashboard. This uh, Jenkins dashboard, and uh, yeah, if you can picture as well, like like how things are working. So this is uh, one. I'll show you one of the job, our job which we created, and uh, so we can we can create folders like this. So this is one folder. Under that there will be another folder. Under that there will be different directories. So these are the different actually microservices means applications. 